We are wrapping things up here with Ron McQueeny, a photographer here at the Motor Speedway for 40 years. And I, what I never really asked you, or maybe mentioned it in the last week's show, everybody has a story about how they got the job they got. I mean, for, I have no right to be here, actually, just the uh, circumstances. For you, sir. I'm going to go way back to high school and oh tell a funny story yeah. about uh, uh, my counselor. I, I used to be one that would skip school and come out here to the racetrack on uh, daily practice days. Not every day, but mm -hmm. and uh, one day I walked back into school the next morning and, and my counselor is waiting for me and asked me, or told me to come into his room and he's uh, looking at me and says, McQueenie, that racetrack is never going to make a living for you so <laughs> so uh, you better buckle there down and do so your stuff. There are so many stories like stunts. that. That's great. So uh, fast forward to uh, I got involved in photography when I was in the service. I was a motorcycle cop on on the island of Okinawa during the Vietnam War. I uh, uh, picked up a camera and took it with me on patrol every every day I was out there and learned photography and how to develop film and when uh, I got back I combined that with my racing. So I, I was sending and showing pictures that I'd taken out here at the racetrack, uh, showing my dad at, l at breakfast one morning. And sitting behind me, unbeknownst to me, was a guy that uh, had a job out here at the racetrack. And he looked at me and said, do you work at the racetrack? And I said, I wish. He says, you got some really neat pictures. Let wow. me take you out there and introduce you to the person that runs the photography department. And I did, and the rest is history. So this is about 19... 1971 is 71. when that happened. And my first race for the speed working as a staff photographer was 1972. Mm -hmm. And uh, my pictures were, let's just say they were less than adequate. Oh, uh, they! I, I'm surprised they kept me for the 1973 okay. race. Last but, question: Less than adequate means what? Uh, I mean, as an well, artist, I, I only had two lenses, and one was too long for the turns, and one was too oh, short so it was for the a turns. Technical so, issue too. Yeah, and and I ended up working the race in the. Uh, uh, garage area for mm -hmm. the whole race. Yeah, uh, that could lead into another story if you had a, had another Next couple year. of minute, minutes. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah. the first race was almost my last because the pace car, because of the pace car crash the year before, the pace car, unbeknownst to all of us standing there mm -hmm. at the chute, where the pace car actually came in instead of going all the way down the pit area. Uh, he turned in, and I was standing right there, and somebody grabbed me, pulled me out of the way at the last second, and it was Jim Garner. Oh, my gosh. Actor. Here you are. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. you, this has been an honor to talk to you. We've known each I, other a long time, and it's always a lot of fun. I've enjoyed all the sessions, and thank Ron you. Ron McQueenie, good luck to you, sir. Back to the studio. <laughs>